Hello, this is Jay Lewis, here at the Shortcuts, this time with a pre-installation of IPTV receivers Mac and AVOV TV Online. Well, first thing first, in order to use the IPTV service, you must have an active internet service with a speed of no less than 2 megabits per second. Certain restrictions apply and I will clarify that through the course of this tutorial. Also, you must have a router included with your internet service, either in a combo unit, that is, a modem with a built-in router, like some of those offered by internet service provider, or in a standalone router, similar to this shown on the screen. Of course, then you have to take into account if your IPTV receiver will be using a direct connection to the router, or you will need a wireless connection. I'd like to point out that your IPTV box, it will not work if you connect it directly to a modem. It must be connected to a router or to a combo unit as mentioned before. Regardless of the connection you choose, I recommend you to avoid connecting your receiver to a cascading router unless you're sure that the speed of that second router exceeds the minimum requirements of 2 megabits per second taking into account that high definition and 4K programming will need a higher dedicated speed. If you decide the wireless connection suits you better and your receiver is a Mac without built-in Wi-Fi, then you will need to buy a wireless antenna that is compatible with your IPTV receiver. Usually, the antenna is not included with the Mac receivers, and although AVOV already comes with built-in Wi-Fi, I do not recommend the Wi-Fi connections due to instability and lack of support. I will explain the wireless connection in another tutorial because it depends on some other settings first. Ok, as you already have the preset up on the control, then let's double check what you have out of the box. We already know that in the package it should be a Mac or an AVOV if that is your case a remote control with AAA batteries, a power source, a composite adapter for analog TV connections, and a high definition HDMI cable that perhaps is not included but you will need it for the HD connections. You can vary the following steps at your convenience. First, connect the internet cable from the router to the IPTV receiver or vice versa. Now. Go ahead and connect your IPTV receiver to the TV using the HDMI cable. While connecting the HDMI cable to any available port behind your TV, remember the port number to which you connected it. I will explain the analog connection in a little bit. Now turn your TV on and with the TV remote click on the source or input button until you match the same port number where you connect your IPTV receiver either your Mac or your AVOV TV online. Now connect your IPTV receiver to the power and in a few seconds you should see a booting up. In this example I'm using a Mac 254 but the concept is the same with any other STB box. If the only thing you see on the TV is a no signal message then it's very likely that your TV is on a different HDMI port. Try swapping the ports if you need to, but always match the same port number on the screen with the source input button of your TV remote until you see an image. If you still have no picture, then let's try the composite connection. If you have an analog TV, then the procedure to connect your Mac is similar to that of a flat or smart TV with composite connections. Locate the composite connection, yellow, white and red which could be in front, side or behind the TV, mark as video and audio input and connect the audio video adapter that came with your Mac similar to the one I show on the screen. Now once again with your TV remote click on the source or input button until matching on your TV screen the same connection port where you connect your IPTV receiver behind your TV. Connect the receiver to power and you should see a button up. If your TV doesn't have this composite connection, then your last choice is to use a modulator similar to the one I show on the screen. This device will work as a bridge to connect your Mac to the TV using a coaxial cable. Be aware that these modulators usually need power. First, 
connect your Mac to the modulator using the audio video adapter that came with your Mac. Then from the modulator connect a coaxial cable to the TV out and then connect the other end to the antenna cable input on the back of your TV. You will have the option to select channel 3 or channel 4 on the modulator switch, but the same channel must be selected on the TV input source. If the connection was correct, you should see a booting up process, and congratulations. Now go ahead and look for my next tutorial, how to program your IPTV box for a free TV service. I like to point out that whether with or without modulator, if the image is black and white, distorted, or your HDMI connection pop up a message with no support or signal, and you already verify that the connections are firm and correct, then it's possible that your Mac got decoded from your geographical area. Find the steps to encode it on my other tutorial, Diagnostic and Solutions IPTV. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment. Subscribe and come back for more here at the shortcuts or at the shortcuts.com.